looking around to find something that teaches people, uh, specifically men and specifically in the military, how to sew patches on. Now, for people that aren't in the military, this may seem kind of uh, maybe pointless to you, but we have lots of different uniforms that we use, and every time uh, you transfer to different units or you get promoted or whatever, you have to take all your uniforms and get patches sewn on. Now, most places charge about $3 per patch, which doesn't really seem like a whole lot. Um, case in point, what we're doing today is a navy dress white top. So we got one, two, three patches that we have to do. All right. Now that's what, $9? That's not horrible, but let me show you another example. All right, here we go. This right here is a navy working uniform blouse. So we got one, two, three, four, five patches that go on this. That's, that's uh, what, about $15. Now, we're supposed to have four of those. So if you have to do four of them, 15 times four, that's, I don't know what it is, what, $60? 60 bucks just because you got advanced or something. All right, now I've been in the Navy for eight years and I have never, 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 never paid for patches to be put on my uniform. Why? Because I have a sewing machine, all right? Now the hardest problem people have is sewing patches on the arms. And I wanted to sit down and explain how exactly that's done. And we're re replacing a service stripe. I'm at eight years here in about a week. So I gotta rip that off and put on a new one. So I'm gonna go through the process and show you how this is done. And you just use a regular old sewing machine, you know, like a brother or a singer or something like that that you probably have at your house, and show you how not difficult it is. And it'll save you a lot of money in the long run. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take this patch off. And what you need for that, you have to have what's called a seam ripper. All right, this is a, I don't wanna call it a fancy one, but not all of them are like this. This one, you can uh, put out the seam ripper. This is what it looks like up close, all right? Now, the other side of it, you can pull it out and there's tweezers, which are helpful for pulling out threads. So obviously we're interested in the seam ripper part of it. Now, this thing right here, this patch, all I'm gonna do is go around and every other stitch that's on here, I'm just gonna pop it and the whole thing should come off. So we're gonna come back when that part's done. We finished ripping the, uh, the service stripe off. Okay, and you can see it was here. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but there's like a, a slight indentation where it was. And that's, that's normal. Every time you rip patches off, it's going to be there. You can just take like a hairbrush or something like a blunt tip hairbrush and like, like, like slough it up, I guess you'd call it. It kind of puffs the fabric back out and it takes away the little holes that the needle had made. And uh, the tweezers are great because you have all these little scraps of thread that um, are on the back side and whatnot. Um, one thing I'll tell you to not do is when I was younger, I thought I was really smart and I'd use like a razor blade and I would just like grab the patch, like I'd pull the patch where it connected to the, the blouse or whatever and I'd take the razor and I'd slice the threads, but unless you're really, really good, you're going to end up slicing your blouse or anything and then you got to buy a new one and that's like 40 bucks you don't want to spend. Then you got to sew all the patches on instead of just one. So uh, use the proper tools, seam ripper, okay? And it's very tedious sometimes, but trust me, uh, it, it's worth it to do it correctly. All right, now the next thing we got to do is we have to position the patch where it's going to go. Now this is one of these little, I guess you'd call it a trick that I learned over time just from doing this for so long. Um, normally, you use pins to hold the patch down. So you would take your patch and you'd lay it down and position it where you want and you would take out the pins and stick the pins in, okay? But again, we're not going to do that because that's kind of a waste of time. We are going to use, where that stuff go? Uh, make me look stupid here on camera. Technical difficulties, there it is right here. All right, this stuff you can buy at any fabric store, like Joann's or something like, or Michael's. And what it is, is it looks like tape. It's not really tape, it's, you know, it's dry, but it is a, uh, it's a, it's a plastic. All right, think of it like a hot glue stick that's been pressed down and really, really flat. So what you do is you pull out however much you need and then you cut it. And then you lay it on your fabric and then you put your patch down and then you iron it on there. It's not permanent, all right? That's not stitch witch. Stitch witch is highly, highly, highly frowned upon. That's like rubber cement. But I just use this 
is a little adhesive backing to the um, to the patch. So you iron it on, it stays in place. You don't have to worry about your sewing machine running into the uh, pins, all right, that you use to stick. And you don't prick your fingers with the pins, and it's just all over a lot better. And the final result is better. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my ironing board, get this cut, get the patch out, set up the camera again so you can see how this works. All right, well, here we go. Um, I got my iron right here all heated up, nice and toasty. And here is the new patch I'm going to be doing, two service stripes. Okay, here is the iron-on adhesive that we're going to be using, and here's a fabric ruler because we have rules and stuff that dictate where the stuff goes, and a nice pair of, well, I don't want nice, but sewing scissors, all right? So, you going to bring us over here. I don't know why, maybe just out of habit, I always do like a precursory, do a precursory iron just to kind of flatten everything out. You know, get everything ready. Okay. Get it all nice and set up, nice and toasty. And ironing also serves to take away the indentations from where the other patch was. So you'll never even know that was there. Alright. Now, here it is. Now, uh, just a little bit of a uh, factoid here. Uh, for the Navy, the rules and regulations here... Okay, uh, give me a minute, kiddo. The rules and regulations here dictate that the bottom edge of this patch, of this particular patch, goes two inches from uh, the bottom of the cuff. So that puts it right here, okay? So it goes about right here. Now you have to line this up because this edge has to fall in line with the trailing edge of your rating patch. The trailing edge is the edge closest to the center seam right here. Okay, so this is where our patch is going to go. Now, for the adherence of the patch, again, here's that uh, adhesive tape I was telling you about. So for this, I'm probably going to cut two pieces, roughly the same length as the patch. And just to reiterate why I'm doing this, is it is a thousand times more convenient than using pins, okay? Pins, they suck. And that's just all there is to it, okay? So I'm going to lay these down. I know you probably can't see because of the fabric, but I'm laying the, fab the, uh, the iron tape pretty much where the patch is going to go. Okay. Then we're going to put the uh, the patch back on. Make sure that my distance is correct and it is pretty flipping close. Pretty good. Everything lined up. Now that this is all in place, I am going to take my iron and iron it. Okay. And so here we go. Iron, iron, iron. And I apologize if the camera keeps making a clicking sound. That's the uh, the autofocus. I wanted to try to get like a really good, high quality video for you guys on how this is done. Okay, so. Iron, iron, iron. Everything's looking good so far. Having no issues. Now, some people may be opposed to this method because it is a glue. All right. To be blunt about it, you're, you're temporarily, well, really, I guess, permanently gluing this down. But the idea, my logic for it is um, every time you take these patches off, they're going to be getting bigger. Okay. So they should be getting bigger unless you're in trouble. Then they get smaller. Um, so they'll, it'll always be covered. And it's just a really, really rugged, you know, uh, you know way to do it. It's not going to come off. All right, so I'm going to do one more just to be on the safe side. You know, why tempt fate, right? Iron it down so we're all good to go. All right, now I'm going to turn the iron off here and uh, let this cool down. Because if you try messing with it while it's still hot, it just peels off. So we'll come back when it's all cool. Then we're going to actually start sewing it. This is where it all gets very difficult and very confusing for a lot of people. The sewing part of it. Now, I'm not going to go over how to use a sewing machine. If you have one, I like to think you have an owner's manual. But this is my sewing machine, or my wife's really, all set up. It's kind of one of the fancy ones. I can do embroidery on it too, which is pretty cool. So, uh, the last scene, I uh, ironed on this patch. You know, and it's not 100%, but yeah, it works. All right. So, now we got to sew it on. All right. And this is where everybody is extremely intimidated, and maybe rightfully so. It's pretty hard. And this requires a lot of patience and going very slowly, all right, because this isn't one of the fancy uh, patch sewing machines that 
Um, you know, if you take it to a sewing shop, they would use like on base or something. They're, the bottom part, this part is really, really long and it tapers down. It's really thin. It has like a ball on the end of it. And so they can just stand there and just slip your sleeve right over top of it and sew it up real fast. We don't have that luxury, so we go the slow route. So what you need to do is, I mean, really start wherever you want to, but it's easier to start here at the tip, I guess. Um, you're going to take your sleeve and you're going to put it underneath the foot of your sewing machine. And at the same time, you're going to roll this sleeve back. This is really, really hard, and you're probably going to see me maybe mess this up. But one thing to remember when you're sewing is there's almost nothing you can do that you cannot undo. All right, People don't do this or try to tackle this little project on their own for fear of making a mistake. And that's, I understand that, but at the same time, it costs a lot of money to go elsewhere, and two, you can get this done on your own and fix any mistake you have. There's nothing that can't be undone unless you spill paint on it or something. All right, so now we're going to feed this under here, under the foot. This is going to be real painful. No, just so we're all clear, I never said this is a fun project. I just said you could do this. All right. So we drop the foot down on it, and I'm going to slowly, oh so slowly, make my first couple of stitches. And this machine is set at about its slowest speed right now. So let me adjust this to where it's on the very edge. Okay, and nice and slow. Alright, so I'm constantly going to be tugging and pulling on this fabric, making sure everything is lined up and good to go. Okay. Everything is neat and even, because if you don't take the time to do this correctly, what's going to happen is you're going to sew in wrinkles into your fabric, and that's bad news bears for everybody. You look stupid, one, and <laughs> two, now you got to seam rip everything and do it all again. Okay, so you don't want to do that. It's important to keep the fabric, like I said, pulled nice and tight. So I'm going to kill the camera now, and I'll show you the uh, final product. So that actually no, this is a good this is a good point right here. So I reached the corner um, on the front part. I've reached this area right here. So now what I need to do is I need to rotate my workpiece. Um, so what I do is I leave. I don't know if you can see it too well. The needle is still plunged into the fabric. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the foot like this with the needle still shoved through it, and I just simply rotate my workpiece like that. You always want to try to be sewing in a straight line, straight towards the back. Okay. So I've done that. I'm lined up straight again. I'm going to drop the foot and I'm going to continue along this long edge right here. Okay, so I'm going to kill the camera and I'll show you the final product. So this is uh, actually something else I should probably capture on camera. I'm not done yet, but I have reached an awkward point in the sewing process that I would like to show you kind of how you have to maneuver around. And as I've said before, I never said this was easy. I never said it was fun. I'm just saying this is how you can do it and save a little bit of money. So I've reached the going from the front of the sleeve towards the back, I've reached the end of the very long piece on the top, all right, which I would consider to be the hardest part about this project. So I'm really far up the sleeve right now, and my uh, sewing foot right here is pressed down. So what I have to do is, like I said, I have to raise the foot up with the needle in so I can rotate, all right, just to keep one continuous seam. Now what I have to do is I have to turn, I have to like, I have to take this entire uh, blouse and I have to push it through here, all right? And this is obnoxious. <laughs> it's not fun. I never claimed it was, but this is what you got to do. You got to feed it through. Okay, now you can continue uh, with your work piece. Now I can actually sit and rotate it. So now I can go down, okay? So I'm sure it's all bunched up. And we got to straighten this out. There we go. Now we're all squared up again. Okay. You're, you're pretty much sewing inside out at this point. It's, it's hard. It's a challenge in and of itself. So I'm going to drop the foot and get everything all tightened back up again because that's what we got to do to succeed here. Get it all tightened up. And start slowing, oh so painfully slow again. Okay, nice and painfully, painfully slow. Okay, 
So I'm going to kill it here. I'm on my last couple of stitches here. i got probably about 10 more stitches to go. We're going to take this thing off and we'll see how I did. Alright, I'm kind of nervous too, so... Almost done, almost at the edge. Like I said, this it's the problem is that you're sewing almost inside your sleeve, you know, by the time you get to this point down here. It's kind of a combination of pushing the fabric back and, and pulling it back. Alright, I'm at the end, so now what I gotta do is you do like a reverse stitch to kind of stop it from ever coming up again. So I'm actually sewing backwards right now. And then I'm going to go forwards again, just to kind of seal it up. Alright, and my friends, now we're done. So we're going to pull this off and see how I did. So I have the thread coming with it. We're going to snip it. Take our uh, piece here. Cross your fingers, boys and girls. Check that out. Here we have a nice new uh, service stripe patch sewn expertly on a set of United States Navy service dress whites. Okay. Okay, well, annoyingly enough, uh, the, the nice camera, uh, the, I use of the memory card, so I'm using the crappy camera now. All right, well, show you the final product here, and here it is, all right, nice and sewn on and just really good. So I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Now, um, the, what I showed you here can be applied to, to any patch, really on any service uniform, all right? We really kind of conquered one of the harder parts. Now, if you wanted to do a rating patch such as this, you would, you know, like I said, do the same thing. It's actually easier to do this patch because you would just, you have the whole uh, neck opening. You can just attack it from the neck, all right? Same thing goes with a rocker on the right side of the arm. It's really, really easy because you have that huge neck opening, whereas all we had to work with was this itty bitty little sleeve opening right here. So those are actually pretty easy. Now, uh, one other one I'll show you. Right here on the NWU blouse. Uh, one of the harder ones for people to do on these is if your command has a patch right here. Um, Honestly, for me, I just sew them right through the pocket, but a lot of people don't want to do that. A lot of people want to have the pocket. So what you do in that case, and I've done this for a friend of mine, you take your seam ripper and you go along the edge of your pocket and you actually rip up the seams. And it's nothing just but a straight line stitch in, in black thread. It's really easy. So just rip that up so you have a flap now where your pocket was. Sew your patch on your pocket and then lay it down and just sew your pocket back up in the same color thread. It's real simple. And on stuff like this, it's easy because it's just this huge flap of fabric you can just fit under your machine. Okay, sleeves are the hardest. Patches, super, super, super easy. They take about 30 seconds to do. You just iron your patches. Um, and then, like what I said, using this, uh, using this adhesive tape right here, you just use that to back everything. And so you don't have to worry about pins or nothing. You just glue it on there real quick and then sew it on. Sew it on. Now, uh, in all truthfulness, I've never actually done like army dress uniforms or marine dress uniforms, and I know that they have a lot thicker coat, like fabric. So what I would do for that, honestly, is the underside where the sleeve is, I would actually rip that entire seam open. If all you have is, you know, a, a res like a, a consumer end um, sewing machine, I would rip down that entire seam so your arm flaps open, and you just sew it back on, then go and close it up and sew it back up. You'd be in business. So, hope you guys learned something. I may do some future sewing videos on some more difficult patches, but really, service stripe, that's, that's pretty hard. So, um, like I said, hope you learned something. Save some money out there.